Hello and welcome to The Drug Trip and thank you for clicking on this video. The purpose of this channel will be to share accounts and experiences with various substances so that the viewers can gain an insight as to what those experiences are like. I also hope that these experiences will reduce self-harm and substance abuse as I do not endorse, condone or encourage the abuse of any illicit substance, drug or medication. I will credit the authors in the description below and I also upload new trip reports on Sunday and Wednesday every week so if you do happen to enjoy the content please consider subscribing. Firstly, I'd like to provide a little background about myself. I'm currently 24 years old and around 145 pounds. I haven't smoked pot in the last eight years and have only consumed alcohol no more than 15 times in my life. The very first times I had tried salvia were back in, I believe, 2006 with very little effect. I attempted smoking 10x extract of salvia a few times but never had anything more than a laughing fit for a few minutes. I had also tried an undiluted tincture which did nothing but burn the insides of my mouth. I was convinced I was a salvia hardhead. My interest in trying salvia divinorum again surfaced one day before the following experience. I was talking with some of my friends and one of them mentioned that they wanted to try it. I mentioned that I had tried it before and was interested in attempting to get to a more interesting result. Considering salvia is entirely legal in my state, I let them know that I knew a shop in town that sold salvia and that we could buy it from there. They asked a few people for it and ended up recruiting five people who wanted to try it. Four others came along to witness the act as sitters. We purchased one gram of Salvia 20X dried leaves the following day and decided to smoke it in my apartment that night. We ate dinner around 7pm and then went to my place, settling on the kitchen floor. I ended up going last since I was the only one with any past Salvia experience and I wanted to be sober to watch over everybody. Each person went at approximately 5 minute intervals, so we didn't have 5 people at peak at the same time. I should mention that in retrospect, my friend's experiences were nowhere near as intense, revealing or as long as mine was. I packed the pipe full of approximately one tenth of a gram of the salvia leaves. I put my mouth up to the opening and put my thumb over the choke. One of my friends held the torch lighter above the leaves to get them to start burning and then, after about 10 seconds or so, lowered the frame directly onto the leaves. At this point, I began to inhale deeply and got a huge lungful of smoke which I held for maybe 20 seconds or so. With the smoke still inside my lungs, my vision began to get a little bit wavy. Instantly, I released the smoke and felt a wave of non-being coming over me. I don't know how much time had passed, but the next thing I remember is feeling as if I was back at my childhood. Now by this, I don't mean that I could see people or places from my childhood, or that I felt as if I was a child again. It was just a sensation that I had been transported back to the time in the universe's history. I saw no images at all. I don't know if my eyes were open or closed, if I was sitting or lying, if I had a body or if it was just my consciousness. All that was real to me was time, my childhood time, and echoing through all of time, all of the universe that I was in a single world. The world had more meaning than anything else in reality. It was the answer to everything. It was so clear, as if I was being yelled into my brain. The word Trameldacom, pronounced true mel da com I don't know why it was that word, which I had never heard before in my entire life, but that word was everything during these moments. The other sensation I had about the word was that it was something that I had forgotten and that only being transported back to my childhood could I remember it. Eventually, I turned myself around and saw my friends in the room. I had been lying down on my side facing the white wall. I had also noticed that I had drooled quite significantly. I saw everyone fairly clearly, but it was as if they were far away, but not in terms of physical distance, but in terms of time. They were not in the same time as me, even if they were in the same place. Throughout this whole experience, I was later told, I was yelling out as to what I was experiencing, though I don't remember doing that up to this point. And after seeing everyone, I was more aware of my physical self and my relation to other things in the room. Eventually, I stood up and walked around for a bit, feeling very strange. I walked into my bedroom, which is just off the kitchen, before returning to the kitchen. Upon entering the kitchen, I could see the place I originally had lain and I was overcome with a sense of nostalgia as I view the place as the place where my childhood was and I knew that if I had laid back down in that spot that I would be taken back to it. So I did, and immediately had the same sensation, albeit a little bit less strong. 
I laid there for a few moments, facing the wall, and I took the time to try and gather my senses. I started talking to everyone about everything that I had just smoked salvia and that I was doing and saying that it must look really strange but to me it was so very real. I mentioned that I could hear each individual's voice and I proceeded to blindly point out in the direction of their voices around the kitchen. Someone began by calling my name repeatedly and I turned round and noticed that only one out of the eight other people were even in the kitchen with me. I got up and sat against the adjoining wall. And at that moment, the strangest sense of being in the same place as before swept over me. I quickly moved back to my original place and still felt that I was in that place. What I realised was happening was this. My brain had an idea, a conception of what a room was. It had a front, two sides and the back. Well, it was at the back of the room that I constantly felt I was in. No matter what wall I was leaning against, I felt I was in the back of the room, the back wall of my apartment. I couldn't be anywhere else despite being able to look around and I didn't really know where I was in relation to anything else. After some time, I crawled on the floor under the table. There were three chairs pushed in and I was under those as well. I lifted my right leg and rested it on the chair immediately above my lower half. It felt like it was resting on top of the table though. I somehow knew that it couldn't be but my mind was just telling me that my foot was on the table. I asked somebody if it was so they told me it was just on the touching side of the chair. I wanted to crawl back out but I felt trapped. Not an overwhelming sense of being trapped but I couldn't immediately figure out how to get out from under the table. I eventually wormed my way backwards and stood up. I went into my bedroom where everyone else had went and talked to them. I was feeling like I was coming down but still felt strange. The time distance was still between us and I had a new sensation that I could sense every molecule in the air, that every atom in the universe was a solid, tangible object. It was for this reason, not only my skeleton and muscles, that I was able to stand up straight. I felt that I was being supported by the fabric of the universe and that I could just lean back and I wouldn't fall. Over the next 15 or 20 minutes, I began to get back to a normal state of mind. I used this time to tell my friends of all my experiences while they were still fresh in my head. I remember thinking that the experience I just had wasn't just something that happened in my own mind, but was literally another place, another dimension, another time that actually did exist, that does exist, and that I could return to it somehow. My friends told me that the peak of my experience, where I was to them, acting the most strangely, lasted a good 20 to 25 minutes. This I find very strange, since my friends' experiences were no more than that of 5 or 6 minutes. I also read that 5 or 6 minutes is about the average length of a smoked salvia experience. I can't explain why mine's lasted so long. And then the next morning I woke a feeling almost completely normal. I was perhaps just slightly dizzy, my vision wavering just a tad periodically. Though the experience was intense, I see myself perhaps trying it again in a much calmer environment. I think the fact that there were so many people there made the experience a little more erratic than it could have been. And had there only been a few friends close by, and I was perhaps lying down in a darkened room, Salvia truly transported my mind to a different time and shifted my perception of reality. It was a little scary, but I do not regret experiencing what I did. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed listening to this experience. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing. If you would like me to upload a particular drug experience, please let me know in the comments below. Above all, please be safe. Be responsible and be well.